I'm not going to demonstrate the TRV exercises in a way that you can do them really nice and easy. The first exercise is where you kind of stand with your legs uh, shoulder wide apart. And you're now going to roll your feet gently from side to side, coming all the way out into the outer positions without straining anything. And make sure that the exercise stays down in your ankle. You keep repeating this exercise until you have worked your ankles very nicely too. When you are ready, you shake each foot vigorously. And it's good if you're holding onto something while you're doing that, because that will allow you much better shape of the whole leg. When you're ready, you're ready for exercise number two. Exercise number two, you stand on one leg, and then you raise yourself up on the toe. You come down on the whole feet, up. You could breathe in when coming up and breathe out coming down. And if you are not comfortable with doing this exercise on one foot, it's perfectly fine to do it on two feet. Breathing in coming up, breathing out coming down. And you keep repeating this exercise until you start feeling the calf muscle. You don't have to strain the calf muscle, just kind of until you feel some response in the calf muscle. After this, you again shake your leg and shake the other leg. Then you are ready for the next exercise. And you can do the next, ex the next exercise in a very, very easy manner. You take one step forward and make sure that the leg behind you is, is coming across. Can you see that on the mat? You, you turn the, the, your upper body so that your nail and your nose is pointing straight forward, right? So this is pointing straight forward. And then you start kneeling forward, coming up, forward, coming up. And you should be able to feel a very nice stretch in this part of your body. When you've done 10 of those, you change. Make sure that the, the leg behind you is, on, on, is coming across. And you're now going to repeat the exercise for the other leg. When you have finished this exercise, you can hold on to something to keep your balance. And you are now going to come down and up. And this exercise will get the muscles in your, in your thighs. Make sure that the upper part of your torso is completely uh, straight. So you keep repeating this exercise until you start feeling the muscles in your thigh. It should feel nice. It shouldn't feel strenuous or building muscle power or anything like that. You just kind of do it gently. When you're done with that exercise, you're ready for the next exercise. And for this exercise, it's really nice if you have it, a, a mat to stand on that, you, that, doesn't, that allows you to stay really firm so you don't slip with your legs. You stand wide. The wider you stand, the more intense your exercise is going to be. And you're now going to come forward and hang with your head down. And you're going to do three long breaths in this position. When you've done that, you, you come over on this side with your nose. You repeat three long breaths here. Make sure that your leg is, st is straight, that you don't bend your leg for this exercise. When you have done this leg, you come to the other leg. Three, lo three long breaths here. I hope you can see from my hair. And then you come back to the middle. You stretch your fingers back behind your legs and you repeat three long breaths in that exercise, in that, in that position. Then you come back to the middle, zigzag your feet a little bit in, stretch your, your bottom a little bit back, and start coming up following your nose upwards. That will allow your legs to lift you up rather than your back. Then you come to the next exercise, and you, again you stand you will your legs you will lift wide and again the width of, the, of your legs will determine how intense the exercise is going to be so you push yourself forward so that you stand in a bow 
and you now take your three long breaths. When you've done that, you bend your head back as if you're looking back over your shoulder. And can you see that I'm pushed forward, but I'm also rotating. I repeat my three long breaths in this position. I rotate all the way over to the other side. Repeat my three long breath and come back and stand normal again. And then we have the, the exercise up against the wall. Which I'm going to come and do right here. I stand against the wall and I take a position where I'm kind of bending down in my knees, not deeper than it's comfortable for you. This is not an exercise that should feel at all strenuous. So you start here. At some point, you might start feeling a little tired in the legs. Then you come a little further up. It's important that you can always see this much of your foot throughout the whole exercise. So let's say if you start sitting this deep, if you if you bring yourself up the wall, you, then you always have to you have to pull the legs with you in so that you stand really nicely. The legs should always be bent in the knee. And you can bring yourself all the way up here after a while. The thumb rule for this exercise is that you stand here five minutes. If you are very uncomfortable with this exercise, you can make it shorter. And if you like this exercise, you can make it longer. And from this exercise on, it's important that you keep your eyes open for many reasons. 